have a look what we will do today. Okay. So first, let's check our homework, okay? I want to look at the homework that you did last night about the new words that we learned yesterday. So the homework I asked you to do was to make some sentences with the new words, okay? Hands up if you did your homework. Raise hand if you did your homework. Let's start today with Perry. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, okay. Tell me one of your sentences that you did. I, I start at the start of the race. I start at the start of the race? Yes. Okay. At the start of the race. Well done. So what was the new word that you used? Start. Start. Very good. Okay. Well done. Start. Okay. Thank you, Perry. Who else would like to give me a sentence and I will put it here? Okay. How about Thomas? Um, Hello. Okay. Are you ready to tell me one of your sentences? Yes. Okay. Tell me. I have one ice cream. I have one ice cream. And what's the new word? One. One. Very good. Well done. Do you have another sentence there for me and I will write it? Yeah. Tell me. Uh, I have two pencils. Good. I have two. Should I write it like this, Thomas? Is it correct? No. I, no. What should I do? Add an S at pencil. Good. Add an S to my pencil. I have two pencils. Well done. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Thomas. Well done. Okay, everyone else. I hope you also did your homework. Um, let's go back and see what we learned yesterday. Who can remember? Who can remember what we did yesterday? Let's check. So yesterday we learned some new words and the words were watch, into, starts, over, five, four, three, two. Okay, hopefully you all remember. So today we will use the new words when we read the story, okay? So today we're going to read a story. It's a story we've already done. Hopefully you'll remember. Okay, let's have a look. So we're going to read the story called The Big Race. Who remembers the story called The Big Race? Do you remember? Yeah, very good. Perry, I see your hand up. Taylor, George, very good. Okay, so let's see and let's remember The Big Race. Okay, have a look at the front cover. And who thinks you remember this story and wants to tell us something about it? Susie, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, do you remember this story? Yes. Yeah, tell me something that you remember. The red lizard won the race. Well done, the red lizard won the race. And do you remember what he got at the end? Yes, he got a big cake. Well done. And what did he do with the big cake? He ate it with his pals. Well done. He ate it with his pals. Thank you, Susie. Okay, so let's look at the genre here on the side. It says, let's have a look. A fantasy could not happen in real life. As you read, look for animals who talk and act like people or events that could not really happen. Okay, so remember the genre of this story is called fantasy. It means that it cannot happen in real life. And we know because maybe some animals are talking or maybe some things are happening that we know cannot happen in real life okay so let's have a look together first page 
Okay, I'm going to ask some students to read for me. So who would like to read the first few pages? Leo. Today is the big race. I like cake. Separate lizard. I will run in that race. Well done, okay. And the next page. Red lizard get to the rest. Four. Four animals will run with him. Good. Cottontail is not late. She will run in lane one. Okay. Let's see if we can see the next page. And who would like to read this one? Uh, Ray, can you see me? Yes. Yeah? Okay, let's try and read this one if you can see it. Let rat naps in the shade. Good. He will run later too. Lynx takes his spot in lane three. Road runner stands in lane four. He waves to his pal. Red lizard. Is in late five. The animals bend and hop. The flag is down and the race starts. Many animals watch and clap. Well done. Thank you, Ray. Very good. Okay, so let's look at the next page. Cottontail does not get far. Rat falls into the hay. Okay, let's see if you can see this one. Lily, can you see this one? Yes. Okay, you can read for me. Snack, stop, and chase bugs. Ruth Jammer trip up a rug. Who will win? Good, well done. Can you say the first one again? Snake stops and chases bugs. Snake stop and chases bugs. Bugs. Better. Well done. Chases. Remember it has an S. Okay. Chases. Well done. And you want to do the next page, Luli? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Eat. Red lizard who wins. Watch me eat this cake. He just Red lizard look at his big cake. Well done. Very good. Thank you, Luli. Okay. And the next page. Red lizard look at his pal. He pals like cut two. What will red lizard do now? Well done. And the next page. Red lizard gets five play. He gets cut for his Pal two. Hip, hip, hooray for Red Lizard. Well done. Very good. Hip, hip, hooray for Red Lizard. Okay. So, let's see what we will do now. So, we will look now at cause and effect. Okay. We did this last week. Maybe some people remember it. Let's see if we can remember what this means. Okay. So have a look at the little picture. It says cause and effect. An effect is what happens in a story. A cause is why something happens. So look at the cloud and you can see that it's raining and it says cause. And the effect is the little picture of the umbrella. So let's see it together. The cause is it's raining. So what happens because it's raining? Because it's raining, the effect is I take an umbrella. Okay, so it's raining, so I take an umbrella. So let's try and do some examples from the story. Okay, so the first one, the character here is Cottontail. And what is he doing in the picture? Have a look. Cherry, can you help me? Yes. Yeah, what is Cottontail doing in this picture? Cottontail is chasing butterfly. He's chasing the butterfly. Okay, let's see. 
he's chasing a butterfly. So what happens to him because he's chasing the butterfly? He will, he will, he cannot win. That's right. He cannot win the race. He goes away and he leaves the race. Okay. So let's see the next page. So the cause is Cottontail chases a butterfly. So what is my effect, Cherry? Cottontail will lose. Good. Cottontail will lose the race or he will leave the race. Okay, so let's see what I put. Cottontail leaves the race. He loses. Well done, Cherry. Very good. Okay, let's try another example together. So this one, have a look at the little picture. What is happening to Rat? What is he doing? Bao An, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. What is happening to Rat? The rat falls in the hay. Good. He falls over the hay. Let's check. Good. So he falls into the hay. So this is my cause. And what happens to him because he falls into the hay? He loses the race. He loses the race. Okay. He leaves the race. Very good. Well done. And let's try another one together. Okay, what can we see in the picture here? What's happening to snake? Hi, Nam, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay. What's happening in the picture here? The snake is chasing a box. Yeah, the snake is chasing bugs. Okay, the cause, what's happening is that snake is chasing bugs. So this is my cause. Snake stops to chase bugs. Okay, so what's the effect? It says snake leaves the race. Okay, so because he's chasing bugs, snake leaves the race. Can you read it for me, please, Haina? The snake leaves the race. Good, well done. Okay. Okay, I'm going to tell you one more. It says, Roadrunner trips over a rake. Who will win? So what's happening to Roadrunner? What, remember, what's happening in the story is my cause. So what's happening? Roadrunner trips over a rake. What happens because Roadrunner trips over a rake? Roadrunner leaves the race. Okay, this is my effect. Okay, so that is cause and effect. Okay, who's ready to play a game? Are you ready? Yes? Good. Okay, let's have a look together. Okay, so this one is called vocabulary wheel. We're going to spin the wheel and then you will get a question to answer, okay? Now, when we spin the wheel, you might get a prize. Who would like a prize? What kind of prizes do we normally get in class? What do we normally get when we do something good? Uh, who can tell me? Perry, tell me, what do we normally get in class when we do something good? A star. A star. Sometimes we get a star and sometimes we get... Dollar. Dollars. Okay, so maybe this time you might win some dollars. And then when we get back to school, we will give you the dollars for this game. Okay, who would like to win some Everest dollars? Yeah, okay. Very good. Okay, so let's have a look at the first one. Okay, so have a look and you can see all the prizes that we have in the field. Okay, some dollars or maybe a job, police officer job, banker, teacher's helper or game chooser. Okay, so if the wheel lands on one of these, 
it means you will get it when we come back to school. Okay? Who's ready? Okay, let's go. So who would like the first turn? Uh, Duke Hoy, you're sitting very well. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, okay. Do you want to spin the wheel? Yes. Okay, so I will press spin and then you tell me when to stop, okay? Okay. Okay, so ready? Three, two, one. Stop. One dollar. One dollar for you, okay? So let's see if you get the question correct, you can get one dollar. What does it say? Why does Red Lizard run in the race? What do you think the answer is? He wants to win the cake. He wants to win the cake. Let's check. Okay, are you sure? Time up. Okay, let's see. He wants to win the cake. Well done. Very good. So you'll get one dollar when we come back. Okay? Very good. Okay. Who would like the next turn? Perry, I see you're ready. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay. So I will spin the wheel and you tell me when to stop. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh. Okay. Teacher helper. Okay, so if you get it correct, you can be teacher's helper. Let's see. Ready? Perry, look at the question. Why is Rad napping in the shade? It is hot. Is it hot? Let's see if you're correct. It is hot. It is hot. Well done. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Who would like to do the next one? How about... Funny, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, okay. Ready to spin the wheel? Yeah. Okay, let's go. <coughs> Tell me when to stop. <coughs> okay, you will get three dollars if you get this one correct. Let's check. Why does Roadrunner wave to his pals? To tell them hello? To get them to run with him? Or to tell them he gets the cake? Why does he wave? Say hello. Good, let's see if you're correct. <laughs> to tell them hello, well done. Good work, funny. Very good. Okay, who would like to do the next one? The next one, let me have... Rosie, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, ready to spin? Yes. Okay, you tell me when to stop. sitting well. Blue Moon, let's go. Okay, you'll get two dollars if you get this one correct. Okay? Look at the question and tell me the answer. Or C. Why does Cottontail stop running? Is it because she runs after a bug, she sits down to rest, or she falls into the hay? 
C. C. Let's check. Oh, this one was A. She runs after a bug. Remember, she sees the bug and then she runs away. Okay, let's try another one. Taylor, spin the wheel. You tell me when to stop. Five dollars. Okay, five dollars if you get this one correct. Let's see. What do you think? Why does Red Lizard win the race? He is a fast animal. The rest of the animals stop running. Or he plays tricks on the rest of the animals. B. B, let's see. Well done, very good. Let's see if we have some more. Ready? Who's ready for me? Puppy, are you ready? Yes. Okay, ready to spin? And you tell me when to stop. Okay. <laughs> Okay, maybe police officer for you. Are you ready for the question? Mm. Okay, what problem does Red Lizard have at the end of the story? This guy would like cake. His pals would like cake. Yeah, very good. Well done, puppy. Let's see if we have time for one more. Quickly. Ready? Let's see. Thomas, are you ready? Yes. Okay, you tell me when to stop. Six dollars. Okay. gives them cake very good that's why his friends are glad they're happy at the end well done thank you Thomas okay let's check one more who would like the last turn raise hand George are you ready okay four dollars for this one Okay, George. What do you think? What can you tell about Red Lizard? He did not like to win. He would like to eat all the food. Or he would like his friend to have fun. He would like his friend to have fun. Let's check. Very good, well done, okay. Well done, everyone. Remember your prizes and we will get them when you come back to school, okay? For your homework, I want you to complete this worksheet, cause and effect worksheet. I will show you my example. Okay, so one column has cause, one column has effect. So for example, in cause you can write, Cottontail chases a butterfly. So what's my effect? The effect is, Cottontail leaves the race. So you can try to write one or two here, and then you can add some pictures to the worksheet, okay? You can add a picture of the character and why they have to leave the race. Okay, does everybody understand what the homework is? Okay, so that's the end of our lesson today. 
What did we do today? Who wants to tell me what we did today? Leo. We learned about cause and effect. Excellent. We learned about cause and effect. And what was the name of the story that we read? The Big Race. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, so time to say goodbye, everyone. Okay, bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.